Hey, what's up guys? Chris here. Uh, before I start off teaching you guys what I'm going to teach you today, uh, I just want to say sorry for the sound quality if it is a little bad. Uh, the uh, screen recorder I'm recording with isn't uh, the best, and it's Hypercam 2. Um, so obviously, as you can see here, it's not the best. So, uh, which I, so anyways, here is Minecraft 1. Point, uh, oops. Ah, shit. What the fuck did I do? There we go. Um, actually, that looks a little weird. Anyways, anyways, uh, this is Minecraft uh, 1.6.1. I don't know how the video, video quality looks on this. I record fraps, so um, it probably looks a little weird. Anyways, my computer is a little uh, fucked up right now. Uh, there's some viruses I got, so everything looks fucking weird. Anyways, uh, what I'm going to show you guys today is uh, the resource pack, which I have right here. Um, Obviously, uh, this this is the get in the resource pack. Uh, there'll be a description to the default. Uh, this is default resource pack. Um, so um, that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys today how to uh, make a resource pack, pretty much. And so, um, you know, um, yeah. What am I? What was I saying? Uh, I will have the description of the default resource pack because this is what's gonna allow you to make the pack very easily. Uh, anyways, so what is in the resource pack? Today I'm going to be showing you how to change the sound and the uh, different textures. So this is pretty much going to be everything you need to know about making your own resource pack. And um, I'm not going to show you literally everything, but I'm going to show you all the basics and then you'll be able to branch off of that. It's not hard. This is easier than making a texture pack. Alright, so we're going to go into Assets and we're going to go into Minecraft. And this is where you get everything. So first off, we're gonna, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to change your textures really quick. Because uh, that's the easiest thing to do right now. Uh, you're going to open Photoshop or Photoshop, GIMP, to Paint.net, any of that. Every, um, literally every single uh, link you will need to make your own resource uh, pack is going to be in the description. Everything you need. And I'll have it all labeled real nice so you know what to do. And it's going to be great. Anyways, as you can see, I have Photoshop, so I'm using Photoshop. So I'm just going to uh, push that off to the side. And in your default resource pack, we're going to go into textures like so. You have every texture in the game right here. You have particles. You have paintings. You can change all of the paintings. The paintings are in one file, so you just change up what you want on each one. And boom. Uh, go back to that. Models. So you have all the armor, every single armor in the game right here. And, you know, you, you can just play around with that. Uh, miscellaneous, which is the pumpkin blur, um, all that different stuff. You know, check it all out. This is the map. Um, I don't know. Uh, the map. You hold items. Now, this is very important. Now, listen to me when I say this. Uh, the items, when you change the item, say you change the armor, it's not going to change what the armor looks like when you actually put it on. Um, in order to change both, you're going to have to change the item to what you want it to look like, and that's what it's going to look when you're carrying it, or it is in your inventory. If you want to change what the armor looks like when it's on you, you must go down to models and actually change the uh, way the armor looks on you. So models right here is what it's going to look like when it's on. So this diamond layer right here, this is the uh, pants and the boots. Uh, this will not change if you just change the item's texture. Remember that. That is super important. Uh, I don't know how many times I had to say that in the first one. Anyway, GUI right here, uh, GUI, uh, this is all the interface stuff, so uh, your inventory, your creative mode. Fonts, this is every font that's in the game, not too hard there. Environment, this is going to be the clouds, and sky, you know, moon, rain, snow, sun, everything that's in there. Uh, not too hard. Entity, entity is going to be all of your um, mobs, your villagers, uh, all that different stuff. Uh, you know, all that. Ender crystal, I don't know what an ender crystal is, let's check that out. Ender crystal. Um, alright, apparently, uh, that, that looks really fucking badass. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, that's that. Um, color map, I'm not sure what color map is, I think it's just, um, alright, there it is, that's, uh, the different, uh, foliage, so, you know, they've got the desert color of grass down here, up to the jungle color over here, so, uh, you know, and then we have the, uh, yeah, this is the grass one. Uh, I'm not sure what the other one is, maybe for leaves, uh, yeah, foliage, so leaves. Um, you know, not too hard. Anyways, this is the blocks where you can change uh, bed, feet, side. So this would be um, uh, where your feet go on the bed. You know, it is, it, it is a little more confusing. Here's the coal ore. You change that to change what the coal looks like, obviously. So, um, actually, let's do that. Let's change the coal ore. Well, okay, well, for you, you'll be able to just drag it right in. For me, I had to do a couple extra steps because my computer is mucked up with viruses. Anyways, I'm going to zoom in about a thousand. Actually, I'm going to go in for uh, about 1500 zoom just so it's a little closer. Obviously, I can't do it like that. Um, 
can then drag it down to one pixel so the pixel automatically locks on. Uh, this is erasing it, obviously. Um, I should probably do this. Uh, we're going to make a cold block. We're just going to add some extra thing. I'm actually not going to use my mouse for this. I'm going to go over here and use my Wacom Bamboo tablet to actually draw in some of this stuff. Like so. And actually, I'm going to switch my, uh, my, my, uh, my thing here. My, uh, I'm going to switch to the pencil tool so that it is, uh, um, you know, and uh, I don't even I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Sorry guys, I'm trying to you know focus on what I'm saying, but I'm not saying. Forget it. Um, I switched to my pencil tool so it's a solid square here and matches up a little nicer. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna try and fly through this really quick, just so you know there's a noticeable difference. Ah shit. Just so there is a noticeable difference between coal, the regular texture coal, and then this coal. So now I'm going to switch this, and I'm going to go around the edge in black. Just so that there is a noticeable difference between the regular coal and this coal. Now to save it, what you're going to do is you are going to go ahead and you're going to press File, and you're just going to click Save. It's going to save it as the same um, file type and everything. So now open up your resource pack here, and here's my coal ore. Now what I had to do is I had to go into uh, my pictures and do it. So, um, you know, here's my coal ore. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm gonna drag it into here. I'm going to uh, add and replace. Click OK. It's going to do all that. Now I'm going to go to coal right here and check the picture out. And as you can see, it has changed. So um, I will not show you guys that yet. I'm going to show you how to do the rest of everything else really quick. So I'm just going to go ahead and hop out of Photoshop here. And now that we have the cold texture change, what I'm going to do is show you guys how to change um, the sounds. Now um, you're gonna go ahead. You're gonna go back to the um, assets and then back into Minecraft. You're gonna click sound. And for today, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change uh, the villager sound. I'm gonna change what it sounds like when you hit the villager. So as you can see, there's hit one, two, three, four. There's three different hits. What you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to download a program called Audacity. It's a free program. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drag over hit one over here or whatever you're trying to do and just listen to it. So it makes a pow pow sound when you hit them. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to click record and um, when one of them hits me, it's going to say, fuck you. Alright, so with that when they hit you, that's what they're going to say. I'm going to increase the sound. Alright, now what you're going to want to do is after it says that, you're going to want to click export. And you're going to make sure it is a double O or zero GG file. And you're going to make sure it says hit one. I'm going to go ahead and save that to a new folder in my documents. I'm talking to you. Alright, so I'm going to make a new folder in my document called sounds. I'm going to open that folder and I'm going to make it hit one just like that and then I'm going to save and click OK and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my documents and go find that file drag it over here just so you can see a little better uh, my sound folder is right here it says hit one I'm going to drag it into the Minecraft resource and I click add and replace like so it's going to add it it's going to replace it and I'm actually I'm going to go ahead and make this uh, name for all of them so I'm going to rename it and I'm going to put a 2 there, like that. I'm going to click in, add and replace. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do this for all four hits. Hit 3, just so that uh, no matter when you hit it, it will all make the same noise. And then once more to hit 4. And we're going to drag that into there and replace like so. Alright, now the last thing I'm going to show you guys how to do is change um, the music files. So music right here, um, it's a bunch of different songs. Ton, like, this is all the different songs through Minecraft. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, just, I'm going to delete all of them out of here. Uh, delete files, but I only want one song. And, oh, there we go. And it has to be an OGG file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into Audacity like this, I'm going to scroll up, delete this one out of here, 
I'm going to open up a sound file that I already have. Open up. Uh, nope, I don't want to go there. I want to go to music. And I need to find one of my songs that is uncopyrighted, of course. So, here we go. The link to this will be in the description, and it will open in the Audacity file on a window. Um, this is the song, so as you can hear, it's a dubstep song, and it's royalty free. So the description or the link to it will be in the description if you guys want to go download this song. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to make it column1.org. So export. I'm going to export it into the sound file. I'm going to say calm one ogg borbis files save click ok now it's going to export it like that and it's going to take some time depending on how long the sound is it shouldn't take more than uh, a few seconds though in order to actually export it so you know it won't take too long to change out your sound files to whatever you want the only thing that's going to take time is completing the whole resource pack because you do have to do like every little thing everything you want to change is different files and stuff which is why it gets kind of um, kind of uh, pesky. Now we're going to go ahead and open this, and I just never did that. So I will go into the sound file now, and I have Calm One right here. I'm going to drag that over, click Add and Replace, and click OK. It's going to add it, replace it, all that junk. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to close out that Audacity right there. I still have one open. I'm going to drag this over, and it's going to go in. This is just making sure right now that it's the same song. So, yep, same song. Now. I'm going to switch over to Minecraft and show you the resource pack that it actually works. Alright, now we're on our uh, Minecraft world, super flat, you know how we do. Um, and damn, it is lagging up a storm. Generate! Generate dumb chunks! Alright, maybe if I just uh, turn my uh, options down a little bit. Yeah, that might, uh, I want that on fast. Alright, so um, here we are. Uh, oops, wrong button. Uh, I am going to now go and spawn in a villager. And we're going to hit him and see what happens. Spawn villager. And actually, I'm going to turn my sound up. Oops, wrong button. I don't know when the music's going to turn on, so I might just have to keep recording until it does. Just to prove to you guys that it works. Oh, what? Ah, damn it, wrong button. All right, so um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, uh. fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, uh. fuck you. you. See, every time I hit him, he says f you. Fuck you, 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 fuck you. As you can see, um, some reason the uh, music file I put in uh, didn't work. So um, I don't know if it's because um, I don't know why it didn't work. To be honest, so um, gonna go ahead and look at the coal. But the coal did change. So as you can see, the coal did change. And um, guys, I told you guys. Uh, a long time ago, about a year ago, when I made my first texture pack video, um, that I was going to be working on a texture pack for Minecraft. And it's lagging so bad. I don't know why the fuck it's lagging so bad. Alright, music, you need to turn the fuck down. Video settings, we're just gonna go on short for now. I don't know. Probably because it's super flat world. Yeah, that's better. Um, I told you guys a long ass time ago that I was going to be working on a texture pack for like, for like 1.78 or whatever, or 1.8, whatever the hell it was when I made that video. Um, I think now that it's resource packs and it's 1.6 and you know you guys have waited so long like why the hell is your texture pack coming out i think i'm gonna start working on one for 1.6 so you know tell me what you think about that tell me if i should make one for 1.6 and um you know it won't be nothing too fancy it'll be like uh you know just a regular texture pack i might do a uh, higher resolution one i don't know tell me what you think about that uh, i hope this video helped i'm sorry i couldn't change the actual music file you know I might have changed it, but uh, it might just take time for it to show up in the loop. Uh, but I did 
uh, change the sound and show you guys how to change the texture for a resource pack. And I will leave all the description, all the downloads to everything you need in the description. If this video helps you out at all, even if it helps you out just changing the textures, not anything else. Uh, if you just like the way my voice sounds, uh, please subscribe. It helps my channel out a lot. Please like the video. It also helps out a lot. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all later.